we shall discuss a special type of integration known as the beta gamma function. This is also special two types. It is also called special function. And also it is improper integration for some values of m and n. Now the beta function <coughs> denoted by beta m n. Beta depends on two parameters m and n for m n greater than zero, the integral converges. So, so denoted by beta m n and defined by 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1, 1 minus x to the power n minus 1 dx. Sir. Hello? Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you, are you presenting your screen? Oh, yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Uh, I am not. Uh, sir, will you record the session? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Also, I am recording. Thank you, sir. Start recording. Yes, thank you, sir. Uh -huh. The recording is just starting. Okay. Already recorded. Now I am presenting the screen. Now, screen is visible. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Visible. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, the beta function, which is also a type 1 improper integration denoted by beta m n, and this depends on two parameters m and n for m n greater than 0. And they not defined by 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1, 1 minus x to the power n minus 1. Now, there are so many values of m, m but the integral converges for m n greater than 0. Otherwise, it is diverging. <coughs> we have to then write in another form, put x is equal to 1 minus y. You must commit to memory this expression, this definition of beta m. m put x is equal to 1 minus y <coughs> and simplifying we get again y to the n minus 1 this. So we see that beta m n is equal to beta n m. So if you replace m and n interchange then the value will be equal. And that is why beta m n is equal to beta n m. Further if we put x is equal to y by 1 plus y then dx is equal to this and finally beta m n is equal to this and this. So this is another form of beta m n. And remember that in this case the range changes 0 to infinity from second type to first type. But it is again improper integration. Further we put x is equal to sine square theta. We obtain beta m n is equal to this or this. So this is another form, 6.47. So for beta m n, we see that there are three forms. First form is 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1, 1 minus x to the power n minus 1. This is by definition. Then if you put x is equal to y by 1 plus y, then you will get the another form, second form, 6.46. 0 to infinity, y to the n minus 1, 1 plus y to the n plus n dy. And, but in this case, the important point is that the type is changes from type 2 to type 1. And again, if you put x is equal to sine square theta, then beta m n is equal to another form, given by 6, 4, 7. If you go 2 times 0 to pi by 2 sine 2 m minus 1 theta cos 2 m minus 1 theta d theta. And it is also, again, the range is finite. Case 6, 4, 6, the range infinite. But here range is again finite. And another integration known as the gamma function, it is easier than beta function, <coughs> denoted by gamma n. Gamma is a capital gamma, Greek letter. And this depends only on single parameter n, 0 to infinity, x to the power n minus 1, e to the power minus x dx for n greater than 0. This is, remember that this is type 1, improper integration. And this integral converges for n greater than 0. Actually, proof is not 
beyond in a syllabus. So just give the definition and different property. Now we have to show that gamma n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n provided n is an integer. Now gamma n plus 1 is equal to 0 to infinity this by definition if you integrate this by parts then you will get the first term this is the second term. So now x to the power n e to the power minus x, x tends to infinity this is value 0. If you put the limit when x is equal to infinity, then taking the limit, the value will be 0. And if you put x is equal to 0, then the value will be 0, provided n is greater than 0, n is greater than 0. Then the first integral vanishes, first part vanishes. So second part, second part means n into this. So gamma n plus 1 is equal to n into gamma n. Now gamma n plus 1 by definition this. So this must be gamma n minus 1. Gamma n. That is why you get a relation gamma n plus 1 equal to n into gamma n for n greater than 0. Now if n is an integer, then gamma n plus 1 is equal to n into gamma n. Gamma n means again n minus 1 into gamma n minus 1 and so on. So ultimately you will get gamma 1. But gamma 1 is equal to 1. Gamma 1, what is the value of gamma 1? Just put n is equal to 1. So it will be simply e to the power minus n. Simply e to the power minus n. This is also in proper integration. After integrating, the value will be 1. So gamma 1 is equal to 1. So putting gamma 1, 1, you will get 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, n. That is factorial. So when n is an integer, gamma n plus 1 is equal to factorial n. And the generalization is gamma n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n for n greater than 0. Here n may be fraction also. That is a rational number. Either integer or fraction. <coughs> there exists a very useful relation between beta and gamma function. The gamma m is equal to this, put x is equal to t square, dx 2t. So gamma m is equal to 2 times this or 2 times this. <coughs> Similarly, gamma n is equal to this, just replacing t by n and m by n. So you will get gamma n multiplying gamma m gamma n, you will four times this, this is double integration. Put s is equal to r cos theta, t is equal to r sin theta. So that dt ds is equal to r dr d theta, this is Jacobian. You have already calculated the second order integration. So gamma m gamma n is equal to 4 times this by putting s is equal to r cos theta, t is equal to r sin theta. And calculating, simplifying, you will get this value. First value is gamma m plus n and second value is beta m plus n using 6.5, 6.47, Just replacing n by m plus n, so you will get this value. And this comes from 6.47. Ultimately, gamma m gamma n is equal to gamma m plus n beta m n. So, beta m plus n is equal to gamma m gamma n by gamma m plus n. So, this is the relation between beta and gamma function. So, this is very important relation. Which is useful relation between beta and gamma function by putting m is equal to n is equal to half, we get beta half half is equal to gamma half gamma half by gamma 1. But gamma 1 is equal to 1. Now beta half half is equal to 2 times 0 to pi by 2 d theta is equal to pi. From 6, 4, 7, gamma half, 6, 4, 7, mm. 6, 4, 7. Put m half, n half. m is equal to half means this is 1 into 1. So 2 times 0 to pi by 2 d theta. Mm. 2 times 0 to pi by 2 d theta. So it will be 2 into pi by 2 that is pi. So beta half half is equal to pi. And gamma half is equal, gamma 1 is equal to 1. So gamma half a square is equal to pi. So that gamma half is equal to root pi. So this is very important relation of gamma half. This is root pi and this value we have, we shall uh, apply in next calculation. 
again putting n is equal to half gamma half is equal to 2 times this similarly we can can write gamma half is equal to 0 to infinity to the minus t square that is decreasing s by t so gamma half a whole square is equal to this is equal to this s square plus c square put s is equal to r cos theta t is equal to r sin theta so this is e to the minus r square Jacobian r dr d theta again calculation you will get gamma half a whole square pi so that gamma half a root pi so we may calculate the value of gamma half from directly from gamma function and another from using beta function both the value are same we are now in a position to evaluate beta m n and gamma n where m n are in the form this uh, t is a positive integer. Now gamma 7 by 2 is equal to <laughs> gamma n plus 1 is equal to <coughs> n gamma n. Put n is equal to 7 by 2. So 5 by 2 gamma 5 by 2. 5 by 2 3 by 2 gamma 3 by 2. So 5 by 2 3 by 2 half gamma half but gamma half is equal to root 5. Putting this value you will get gamma 7 by 2 is equal to 6. And beta 7 by 2 5 by 2 means this this by this that is this into this by this that is this. 3 pi by 2 pi 6. So you may find the different values of gamma function, beta function for different values of n and n. We now define a useful general formula i m n 0 to pi by 2 sin m theta cos n theta. Put x is equal to sin square theta. So dx is equal to this, d theta is equal to this. So i m comma n is equal to just putting and simplify you will get this value or this value but this by definition beta m plus 1 by 2 n plus 1 by 2 beta m n so i m comma n is equal to this value it follows that i m n is equal to this is equal to this so this is another formula for i m n next to consider some problems Express the integral 0 to 1 x to the m 1 minus x to the n whole to the power p in terms of gamma function. Express the integral this in terms of gamma function and then evaluate this. Just by putting m is equal to 2 and n p is equal to 4. And first we evaluate in terms of express this in terms of gamma function. Here i is equal to this. Put x to the power n is equal to y. x to the n is equal to y. So that n x n minus 1 dx is equal to dy and dx is equal to this. So putting <coughs> and simplifying i is equal to 1 by n this value or this value or this, this and this. So replacing this in terms of beta function, beta m plus 1 by n, t plus 1. So uh, using the general form of beta function you will get ultimately this but beta m is equal to beta m beta n by beta m plus n gamma n plus n uh, now so this is the expression i is equal to in terms of gamma function and then put m is equal to 2 n is equal to 2 and p is equal to 4 we obtain 0 to 1 this value is equal to this value Gamma 3 by 2, we know that half gamma half, gamma half means root pi. Gamma 5 is equal to factorial 4. Gamma n plus 1 is equal to factorial n. So this is factorial 4. And gamma 13 by 2 is equal to 11 by 2, 9 by 2, 7 by 2, 5 by 2, 3 by 2, half into root pi. Root pi cancel, half cancel, ultimate value is this. 128 by 3, 4, 6, 5. After simplification. So this is very good problem. So first express this in terms of gamma function and then by putting m is equal to 2, n is equal to 2 and p is equal to 4. You will get, it is possible to evaluate the value of this. Remember that by simple integration it can be easily calculated. Very simple integration. 1 minus x square to the power 4. Simplifying, integrating, putting the value, you will get this value. You may verify by simple integration also. And this is very in, uh, easy integration. 
and you may check that whether this value is correct or not. Value zero pi by two sine seven theta cos five theta. This form is I hope well known. Second form of beta function, gamma function. This form <laughs> six four seven beta function second form six one four seven. Hmm. And you put ten ten and ten six one five two. Hmm. Then put two. I say this one. Put n seven n five in six five two. Seven sine seven theta cos five theta is equal to half of. Gamma of seven plus one by two, gamma five plus one by two by gamma m plus n. That is four plus three. At seven plus one by two means gamma four. Gamma four means factorial three. Gamma three means factorial two. Or gamma seven means factorial six. So it's after simplifying, one it is one by one twenty. Zero to pi by two sine ten theta. So using gamma function, it is easily calculate this value. Put m ten and n zero in six five two. <coughs> There is a relation between sine and cos. To so put n zero and m ten, you will get sine ten theta is equal to this value. Gamma eleven by two. Again applying the gamma formula for gamma function, simplifying you will get sixty three pi by pi one two. This is the last part. So hello. Now yes, the, we have yes, discussed. Uh, we have discussed two important type of integration, known as gamma and beta function. Both type are of the improper integration of type one and type two, respectively. And different properties, and relation between gamma and beta function. The value of gamma half is equal to root pi. Gamma one is equal to one, but gamma n plus one is equal to n gamma n, or factorial n uh, for by when n is an integer. So we have discussed the different properties, different interesting value coming from beta and gamma. So we must. If you doubt and any problem, I shall discuss the next class. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now yes, I'm sir. I am leaving now. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Full form, sir. Sir, guy. No, yes, sir. अच्छे हैं, अच्छे पढ़ाते हैं. खाली अच्छा पढ़ाने से नहीं होता, अच्छा मार्क्स भी देना पड़ता. अरे recording on है अभी. Full form. ऐसा बोलेगा तो. अब हम लोगों को क्या पता सर कैसा मार्क देता छोड़ तो रिकॉर्डिंग बंद कब होगा अच्छा जब सबको लीव कर दिया तब हाँ तभी होगा